Hello everyone, welcome to D4 Drupal channel. Today we are going to see about how to migrate content from a HTML page. So today I created a sample HTML page. It's a very simple page here I have created. So I have kept that file inside my custom module. So you can see that file here. In my custom module, I created sample.html and here you can see it's a very simple HTML file. So I have a head tag, title, and I have a data tag, body, inside the body, I'm having H1, A tag, B tag, all, okay. So now what I'm going to do, now this is done. And I created a custom module, so which has one info file. And also I created one a migration file, but I haven't write anything here. So now we will be writing that. And I'm going to, create article content so we are going to map article content so here we have all these fields now i'm going to use only body title and then uh url array something like that now i'm going to use body title alone and let you know how to do that so before that you have to install module of migration plus and then migrate source HTML, all those I already enabled. So you have to enable them to migrate content from a HTML page. So migrate, migrate plus, and then migrate source HTML. Okay, so you have to enable that module so that you can use this migration. And then now here I, I have created a file. And now here, what you have to do? First, you have to give the ID. So it's a migrate HTML page. And then name migrate migration from HTML page. And then next, uh, we need to give a group migrate HTML of the one. And then here I have a sample file. So next, you have to mention it source so i'm going to use url here so plugin url and the path of the url you have to provide and then data feature and then parser so here you can see i'm using url plugin for source and the url you can add n number of urls here so i have given only one url and then uh, you can see that is pointing to the sample file which i created in this module and here i am using http so I'm using HTTP, if you're using HTTPS, so you can use HTTPS feature and then parser, I'm using HTTP file. Once this is done, next you have to create a uh, fields. So these are the fields I'm creating. So first I'm giving the field name of content ID and label for it. So the selector for this particular field is this. So which means when you go to sample.html. So first I am taking in a head tag. Inside the head tag, there is a meta tag. I am using the property of post ID and I am getting the content, which means so where meta tag contain this particular post ID property, I am getting the value of the content, so which means 4, 2, 4, 3, 2, 1 will be the value here. So I am using that as a content ID here. And then title. So title is a uh, field for content title. So what I am using, I am using, I am getting the text from the title tag. So in my HTML, the title tag text is HTML 5 page, 5 example that will be passed here. And then last one is content, so which will be passing in the body field. So I am getting all the uh, tags, whatever we are having inside the body element. So which means inside the body element, all the tags, which means H1 to P tag, all will be fetched and passed here. So now fields is done. And next is you have to do the mapping. So before that, you have to give the unique value, right? So for unique value, I am using container ID as a unique value and type of string it is. Okay, and now source is done. Next, you have to do the process. So in process, you 
process we have to map each fields so to do the field mapping so here you can see for title i am using this title field and for body value first you have to use the plugin dom method import and then which source this particular field should use and this is going to use the content field and next one is plugin dom and method export so uh, we will be saving the document here and then next body and format is full html okay and then next uh, you can view the uid author and then what type of article it is and if you want to give path alias, you can give whatever you want. And now the process plugin is done. And next one is destination. So destination, this will be pointing to the node. So since you already mentioned uh, article here, you just need to mention only the node type here. And that's it. Now we created a uh, migration file. And now I will go to here and I will clear the catch. Now the catch is clear. So I will use this ID to import my content. Before that, I will show you the content page. So here you can see I don't have any content. So let me import rush and my end, the ID. Enter. And now you can see processed one item and one created. So if you go to the site, and now refresh. Now you can see the new content is created with the title value. And when you edit it, And here all the body element are added and you can see the path ally is also added as we mentioned and author the user id one is added so this is a title field will be the html file example so that's what we have here so title is html file example and all this content are created as a body field this is how you have to migrate a HTML page to Drupal contents. And that's it about today's video. If you like the video, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.